Hello everybody, I'm back today to stream some more Game of Thrones. Uh, this time I have the pleasure of playing against JC Wama, uh, who you probably know from his posts on CardGameDB and I Got Cards. I'm trying something different for me. This is a Dragon Pit deck. I very rarely played Targ since I started playing Game of Thrones three years ago. Uh, but with first edition winding down, I figured I'd give it a try. I've also historically been pretty bad against burn, so it would be good to understand the deck a bit better. And a good way to figure that out is by playing it. Uh, James is playing Baron Knights today, which is probably a pretty bad matchup. Uh, since he's going to have a fair bit of shadow cards as well. But we'll see if it stays that way. I did get a pretty decent setup. Got some money early on. Uh, two incinerates in hand, but no influence yet. Uh, and I do have the King's Landing, which is a pretty key card for this deck. I'd also like to mention before I forget that this list comes from uh, somebody on I Got Cards. I'll have to link to uh, give them some credit because this is their list with like two or three changes that I made. I think they won a tournament with it somewhere in Europe. I can't remember exactly. Uh, but we're going to start with, with uh, Siege Preparations, uh, get some money to play the cards in Shadows. And James is going with City of Lies. Whether or not that means he's playing more city plots, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but I think the reason that uh, the deck builder used Siege Preparations instead of City of Lies is that it can't be canceled by the Bluebird. So he gets one card in Shadows instead of two, because he didn't have both, but uh, so that would signal that he is in fact running Cities since he still opened it with, with it anyways. I'm going first here, I'm going to have a whopping eight gold to work with. So I can throw some cards in Shadows here, and try and match him. Gotta remember what I've got. Let's go with this guy. Looks like even with all this gold, I'm not gonna be able to play everything I want to. Would I rather have... I think I can safely assume he's not running King's Law. I think Sirio is a bit more important than Boros since he can go in and out. And I guess I'm going to sit on the two gold so that I can bring out King's Landing. He only gets four gold to work with here. So yeah, he did draw his three. Right, because he would only have nine cards in hand because he put one in shadows with the plot. So he's got a refugee at C. He's probably got... Well, he didn't bring out Preston during the marshalling phase. So you can assume that's probably not Preston, but he might have Jamie or Black Cells. Um, I'm not too concerned with how challenges go this phase. Uh, Dragon Pit tends to be a pretty slow deck. I'm just getting set up. Interesting, I don't play this guy in my Baronite's deck. 
He's gonna be flame kissed bait, hopefully. Now, which card do I want to bring out of shadows? He's out of gold. Yes, he's out of gold. I could bounce his bitter bridge. Don't think that'd be worth it. I think I just want to get my draw going here. Although I could do the King's Landing Assassin and kill his draw. So we'll see what he's got, if anything. He does have Preston, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy. Which should be pretty good this game considering the amount of shadows we both have. Um, I assume he'll just block this military. I don't have any reason to hold back though. He lets it go on a pose. This will kill the refugee. Yeah. Maybe he just wanted the power to steal. Makes sense. So my refugee's dead, not a big deal. In Dom, I'll bring out Sirio and get another draw off of this guy. Oh, I lost the Mad King, that's unfortunate. So he's gonna win Dom and get to draw a card. So he'll be at five power already. Six actually with the Renown here. But I'll make short work of that guy next turn. He's going to put Preston back. I'll bring Sirio out. I'll take Dom. I guess he's not going to bring Preston out. Wonder why not? Seems like you should. Maybe he just, I don't know. All right, everything stands up. And Rhonda plots. What could I do here? Incinerate his challenges only? Yes. Not that I have the influence anyways. Um, again, retaliation seems decent here. I don't know what cards a command is like, but he doesn't really have anything worth blowing up yet anyways. Let's see if he goes... What city would really hurt me here? Nothing yet, I don't think. He's just gonna kneel Sirio, fair enough. And he still has more knights.
this is going to be a bit of a slow game because we have to stop and check shadows uh, every phase since we both have shadows. I'm going to have to get used to King's Landing. I'm not sure if I've uh, ever used that card before. So what is my turn looking like? I've got an influence for incinerate now, and I've got two allies, so I can burn something to the ground. Currently my dragon pit is turned off. He's got bitter bridge encampment out, which could be a problem. My goal this turn has to be to try and shut down his knight's agenda. He's marshalling quite a bit. I guess you can do that when you draw three cards a turn. Ooh, can that blow up my King's Landing? Do I have any way to stop this guy? I haven't counted my gold yet. So, King's Landing is a goner. That hurts quite a bit. I'm going to have plenty of gold. Although, is that plenty? Because I need. Hmm. I'll stick Boros in Shadows and I can bring him out during the next draw phase. If I don't deal with Salador, he's going to keep wrecking me next turn. So maybe I should just Flame Kiss him? You know what, I forgot I have this uh, Shadow Seer here who could win an Intrigue Challenge. So I can actually just play uh, her instead. And then will I have enough gold for... Let's see, I don't strictly need Jogo this turn. I think I can wait on him. So I'm going to want to do this and this. And then two gold left for the assassin. Yeah. Makes sense. So I'll assassinate one of these knights. Yeah, if he brings Preston out, I'll kill Preston. But then I won't have any military claim this turn. No, I can because I have the assassin. All right, so Preston's dead.
I'll let him make a challenge, and once he declares it, I do have allies, they're all allies, yeah. So the dragon pit isn't working, but I do have more unique characters so I can shut down any challenge. The only thing I'm really missing right now is some draw. Draw would be fantastic. Oh, you know what, he can uh, bitter bridge my shadows here. But I still think playing that was better than putting Boros into shadows. Alright, so that was a smart move. He's going to win the power challenge, I think. And I wonder if he has something like... No, he can't trigger select a promise, so I think I just let this go unopposed. Hopefully he doesn't have something like uh, Support of the Kingdom. Can that take an influence location? I don't think it can, actually. I don't think he would run that anyways in his deck. He was just going for the power grab, because why not? Alright, so we're going to incinerate that knight. And then I'll be able to shut down the Intrigue and kill them both for claim. And he won't have any knights. I won't either, but hopefully I can get Boros going next turn. Alright, so hopefully he doesn't have any tricks up his sleeve to stop this. His last knight is gone. He remembers Britter Bridge. This should be unopposed though in two claims, so this was a very good turn for me. He's down to just one card in hand. He's running Forced March. That's interesting. Alright, she gets to stand back up. Rather, he gets to stand back up. I take Dom that way. But he still has two cards in Shadows. I don't know what either of them are. Um, Valar here seems like a distinct possibility. And I just used my Valar counter in retaliation. So none of these plots here are really going to be helpful to me. I guess the aftermath is the least bad. Pretty sure I'm ahead on cards at command. Yeah, definitely. Um, do I want to do Rally Cry and just discard my own gold location? I'm not sure. I guess we'll just do that. Okay, so he's gonna get Preston back, sure. I'll play first. So he's gonna bring Preston out and draw and get that draw three. Still haven't seen my own Preston.
This Warlock of Karth is uh, not very useful yet. It can bounce his encampment, but not until the challenges phase. Really, I just need to get Jogo going, but I don't have any other Dothraki to make him doubly effective. So, six gold. I'm really not sure. If I play Jogo, I'm going to be losing another character, probably the Shadow Seer. So maybe it's not even worth it. But that would give me another unique character out there. Hmm. See, I want Boros and Shadows because he's a knight. Really not sure if I should play Jogo here or not. I guess I'll hold off and I'll just put Young Griff into Shadows. Hopefully get the pit going. If I can kill Preston again, he should stay dead. All right, so he's got another card in Shadows now. Although, you know, Pit actually works if we're tied. He has to have more than me to turn it off, so it's currently on. Uh, James is lamenting the fact that he drew two economy locations this turn. Um, what do I want to bring out of Shadows? Boros, right? Or do I no, I, I want to save him until uh I want to save Boros until the draw phase next turn. I'm just going to bring out this guy. I'll um, go ahead and bounce his bigger bridge. That way I can use the Shadow Seer. I know I can't do that. It is immune. Okay, so we bounce the Bitter Bridge Encampment. And we'll see if he wants to do Shadows or keep my Dragon Pit. Uh, turned off. So I'm going to destroy Preston before he can bounce him back to Shadows. <laughs> All right. So I think I've got this game locked down now. Since I've got a knight waiting in Shadows, I'll just start doing my challenges. He's going to block Sirio, sure. But I should start racking up some power here. left power. So I'm now in the lead there. And will I take Dom? Oh, you know what? I forgot to trigger the Shadow Sphere. That's not horrible, though. Now 
let's see if any of these will not hurt me too bad. I'm getting to the point where I'm in the lead and I need to maintain it. And he doesn't even have a board for me to burn right now. So these two aren't that useful. Yeah, I think I just go Rally Cry and discard my own gold location. That seems to be the least bad thing. Interesting, he hasn't Ballard. I wonder if maybe he's not running it. That seems like the kind of thing that he would do. playing first. I'll let his plot go first. So my tourney grounds is gone. And then my gold location is gone. I'm going to bring out Cerboros. Let's see if he has his own knight. He could have a Boros as well actually. That wouldn't surprise me. To keep the might count even. Interesting. So I guess he does that just to avoid drawing only one card. See if he's got any shadows for marshalling, and then I think I'll just throw Varus in shadows. Oh, interesting. So is that top card now the knight? Nice. That's why he did it. I'm going to count five gold. I think I want to save that gold for Flame Kiss since I don't have the influence to ambush it. So I'm just going to do the Brothel and throw Varus into Shadows. And I'm done. Now I've never actually had this come up before. I don't think you can split the ambush cost. I don't think you can do one influence and one gold. But I'm only 95% sure of that. So let's see if he can make use of the encampment. We know he can because he has that knight in hand thanks to Crescent. So what is that going to get him? Jamie, probably. Maybe the Knight of Flowers. I don't think any of the new Rainbow Guard characters would be particularly useful here. Yeah, he gets Jamie. So that'll give him the Knight lead back. Dragon Pit is still on though, unless he throws another card in shadows. <laughs> um, don't think I want to bring anything out right now. Although if he brings Jamie out, he's unlikely to Valor next turn. Okay, so he's not going to. Makes sense. Um. I don't want to flame kiss his guy. 
I just want to try and force the Valor. Save the Flame Kiss for next turn. Although it can't touch Jamie, who's no attachments. Um, All right, so I'm going to get his hand here. I'm going to get some more power. The only attachment I've seen is Motley, which I discarded from his hand. I've been forgetting that all day, but thankfully he's been remembering. Um, so what now? That was entry. Do I want to do power next? Let's sound on top of his discard pile. Now it's an arrow C. Perfect. Not something he needs back. I think he should let this go unopposed as well. Although that really hurts letting me up to 11 power. I didn't even take into account that he had to pay for both of these this turn. That's why he didn't have enough money for Jamie. But as he's pointed out, he could have blown up the seat for the Nightfire. I think that's probably what he should have done. I don't think the Fiery Kiss was as important as establishing some board position. He's going to block this power challenge. So I still win one claim. He gets to kill Crescent and take back the narrow C. Seems a bit odd. Maybe he just figured he was going to Valor anyway, so he might as well oppose and prevent me from getting a power, if that makes sense. And that's the end of my challenges. I'm thinking I should probably Valor next turn, since he's going to anyways. To get mine out of the way. I'll still have four gold, so I could still afford to play Jamie and Young Griff. Although maybe this is better. I think I can close within the next two turns, so I shouldn't have to Valor myself. Okay. Who do I want to play first? I think I let him go first so I can see what he plays. These guys are all dead. All right, so we're each going to draw two.
Now I get Preston. And he gets another knight. That hurts a bit. I wonder if he'll get a... Hmm... I'm not sure what he would do here. Maybe just a three-coster, like the Bastard Knight song or something. I think that makes the most sense. Wait, he can slow me down a tiny bit. Yeah, he's going to take his time and pick. Makes sense. Um, I'm going to be looking at just four gold. So I'm not going to be able to put Preston in shadows and bring out young Griff, which I would really like to do. I'm going to be one gold short, so I guess I should have played the uh, on my oath this turn. Flame Kiss will take care of any knight he plays, unless it's a no attachments. But I think only the King's Guard have no attachments. While we're waiting, I'll mention one more time that you can feel free to subscribe um, on YouTube if that's where you're watching this. I'm also going to start posting my videos to the subreddit. Um, if you weren't aware that that exists, I think it's pretty small, but with second edition coming, I've uh, become a moderator for that subreddit, and I'd really like to try and get it more active. The Netrunner one is uh, pretty heavily trafficked, and I think it's a really great uh, way to get the content, uh, the good content seen by everyone with the upvote downvote system that they have on reddit also if you weren't aware i always link the deck list in the comments so you can check that out and let me know what you think of it if there's any changes you suggest i'd love to hear them some of the times with the the stream decks that i use sometimes there are things that i'm working on and you know actively tweaking sometimes they're just decks that i'm trying out once or twice just to get a feel for them not necessarily a project of mine he's going to get the knight of flowers i think that makes sense that can save any unique character it doesn't have to be baratheon and right i forgot i even had that active so the hedge knight leaves after he triggers that thing He's done, so I get my four gold. Spent three on Jogo. And I'll save the other gold. Will he bring out Jamie here? He's going to do it. So in the dominance phase, well, assuming Jamie survives military claim, well, you know, he's actually at one strength right now from pit and threat combined. So if I bring out young Griff, then Jamie's going to stick around. But he doesn't have any claim, so do I care if Jamie's there or not? Maybe this is a mistake. Maybe I should have left him in shadows, but I, th I think this is the right play. All right, yeah, he's conceded, so that was it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try and stream again next week on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, thanks, guys.